taste test tomato sauce as the Morrison's Podlitsky. Morrison's as the Podlitsky. Let's get going. First contender, Morrison's. Let's go. As the this one's got a bit of a uh, squirt problem. It's coming out sideways. I presume it's just a one off. I don't know. It's not a design fault, I hope. And a third one from Poland. Pugliski. Have you just want to read that out loud? Uh, this is why I'm doing this because I've never tasted this. So, I don't want to see if there's any difference. Got it in Tesco. I've seen it other places. Asta, I think. At the Polish section, of course, usually. Okay guys, here goes, spin, three spins, yeah that's nice, I like that one, it tastes sugary, maybe that's why I like it. Is that? Just letting it drop in that so you can see the texture. I think I prefer the Morrison's one. Still quite nice. Still sugary. And finally, here we go, guys. What is this all about? Budlisky. No, I don't know really. I think uh, I think I would put that third, but uh, it's actually got more tomato in it and probably less sugar. That's probably what it is, I think. It's got a funny first taste and then after a while the tomatoes really hit. It doesn't feel as if there's as much sugar in it. Maybe I could get used to it. Go back to Asda. Yeah, Asda sugary. More sugar than tomato. Morrison's. This was my favourite, I think. I don't know now. I'm in a confused state. Let's see now. Is there no? I thought there would be at least some. But yeah, now we've got English. Tomato puree. Sugar or spirit, depending on salt. I'll just take a quick look at the other, see how much puree they've got. Yeah, mm, I don't know how you work that out. And finally, Morrison's. 25% puree. Clove leaf oil. Clove extract. So that's 25% tomato. That's 
62%, so that's definitely a lot, a lot more tomato -y. I don't know how you want that, 148 grams of tomatoes per 100 grams. So for this taste of this cayenne paper and garlic powder, it says flavourings as well. Yeah, you can always taste the vinegar on these things now as well. That's mostly clove leaf oil and clove extract they're getting a, a different taste from. To make them stand out. I don't, I don't know. Anna. English. Nothing really. There's a barcode. Put Litsky. What else is it going on? She got it. It doesn't have anything else. It's got natural flavouring. I don't know what that means. But it's not getting anything like garlic or cloves. Let's see carbohydrates. I'm looking at sugars really. For 30 grams per 100 grams. 30 grams per 100 grams. Sugars I'm looking at guys. 20 grams per 100 grams. Sugars 18.8 grams per 100 grams. So that was the most for sugars. Yeah, it was. Sugar. So they've all got tomato, sugar, and spit, and vinegar in them. And the other things are what make them probably make them slightly different. Though. Yeah, I don't know now really. We're going to go through them again. One final go. Yeah, it's definitely tomato. -y. Maybe you could get, maybe with actual food. This might bring out the flavour more, you know. Whereas well, these ones are going to taste sugary to me, even though, even though that one's got the most sugar, it seems. Yeah, that tastes lighter than the tomato to me. All of them will give 6 out of 10. They're bearable, you know. And, uh, I would use them. I can't really tell now. I made me go for the Asda one now. But my tongue can't tell now either. It's too tomato -y and Yeah, that was interesting though. Was that tastes more like you would imagine, I suppose. Tomato ketchup, it tastes like these, these taste more sugary to me, which is probably what most of it is like. So, I hope that's been very decisive for you and helped you to make the right decision. One final close up. That's Morphins. Asda. Asda's maybe the prettiest. Okay guys, it's all down to you now.